I'm Jean Reynolds, I work for Suffolk Libraries and these are my alternative pumpkin lanterns. I've made these out of tin cans and this one I've painted and you should just see the, the shape of the pumpkin on it. We did them in the summer during lockdown as summer lanterns. Very, very simple. Take a can, fill it to nearly the top with water, freeze it, it'll take about four hours. If you use a can that you use a tin opener on, you'll get a nice smooth edge in the inside. If you use a ring pull, then you'll get this sharp edge on it and you do need to be careful when you're lighting your candle. So measure around your can and from that you'll get your template. And from your template, for your piece of paper, draw your design on it that you want. So this one, I've done a very simple um, moon. The other one that I'm going to demonstrate is this pumpkin. This one's been in the wars, it's been done twice. So you wrap that round your can, like so. Make sure that you get the actual bit you're going to stamp away from the join there, otherwise you get some glue up the middle of your design. So then hold that with a piece of masking tape or sellotape, then put it on a soft surface. I've, I've used a, an old towel, which you can then put down on, and then you're ready to use your hammer and nails to tap out the holes. The size of hole will depend on the size of nail that you use. Um, the ones that I've got over there I use a small tack with and this pumpkin one here which uh, I've finished but not painted still got the ice in it I used the larger nail for. Once you've tapped out your design then just let your water drain out I tend to put it in a plant pot so I don't waste the water then paint it with whatever paint you've got around. Um, I use a match pot to get this colour you can pick them up quite reasonably and there you have it. If you want to hang them up, stick a couple of holes at the side and put some wire around it. So we've got an acorn leaf, so we've got some autumnal ones there. And a little bit more spooky, but very, very easy to do. We've got our, our ghost here. And we've got our black cat over here, which I did enjoy doing. I hope you'll enjoy making these um, and that you'll post your finished product on our Facebook page for us to see. I look forward to seeing your designs which I'm sure are going to be a lot nicer than mine, a lot prettier. Have fun making them and enjoy Halloween. Bye bye!